In this video, I'm gonna show you how to firstly get comments from a YouTube video into Sheets and then use Gemini to create you a sentiment report on the comments from those videos. So this is an example of what I'm doing here. So we're looking at this video here and we're gonna pull all the comments from this video and we're gonna analyze the sentiment. So I press a button here and all the comments come in down here. And then I press another button, which is create a sentiment report. And then that goes to Gemini and Gemini creates us a report to talk about the sentiment of the video, including the percentage of positive, negative and neutral, a summary of the sentiment, and then a couple of examples, positive, negative, neutral, and then suggestions for video improvement. And let me just show you this in action. So I'm going to take a different video here, this English breakfast video. Um, I'm going to copy that in and I'm just going to paste that here. Then I'm going to extract the comment data. And what this is doing is this is just pulling all the, the, the comments from that video and then I'm creating a sentiment report. And this will then take all those comments, run it through Gemini, and then Gemini is going to assess the comments and write a report. And this is what our report looks like for this new video. So this is slightly less positive than the last video and it's suggesting some tips for improvement here. So you need a couple of things in order to do this. You need to have a Gemini API key. You need to have a YouTube API key, which is free and you can just get that off Google Cloud. And you need to use AppScript, which is available on the back of Google Sheets. To go to AppScript, what we need to do is we need to go to Extensions and then click AppScript here. But before we go to AppScript, let me just show you how to get the YouTube API key, which we're going to use to pull those comments in. So in Google Cloud, and this is totally free, you just search for YouTube um, and just pull up the YouTube uh, version three API, go into manage or enable if that's not enabled already. And then you go to enter credentials and in credentials, you can just create an API key here. And this is what the API key looks like. You just pull that and you paste that into the script. So before we get into the code that's used here, I have all this code out on GitHub. I suggest just copying and pasting the code in here, putting in your own API keys, and you should be good to go. Just to talk you through how we actually run the scripts, I have two buttons here, and these buttons have a script assigned to them, and that pulls one function. So if you see in here, assign a script, get YouTube comments, I'll go through what's in that script now in a second. And the same with sentiment report. How to create buttons like this is just go into insert drawing and in insert drawing, you can go over to image, go to Google images, and then you can search for a icon here. So I'm just going to go T icon, get my T icon here, kind of insert that in. And then when that comes on the page, I'm just going to resize it. And like you can do your own drawings, you can do shapes, you can do whatever you want. But now that icon's ready to go and I've got the three dots here and I can just assign a script to it and that'll run whatever script is sitting out there in App script. So a couple of things to mention on the app script, you need to enable the YouTube API service. And that's just by clicking here, you'll see YouTube version three API, I've it already enabled here. And then there is a app script.json. The only change you need to make here is an auth scopes. And I just copy and paste what I have here in the GitHub into auth scopes. It's just this here. So just replace your auth scopes with this. And this, all this does, it just allows you to create an, a, an external request to the Google Cloud platform. And that's what we're looking to do with uh, Gemini. So into the code, so this is my full code is out on GitHub. All you have to do is change the API keys, but let me tell you what I'm doing in this. So the first thing is get YouTube comments, and this is pretty standard boilerplate script. First, we're putting in an API key, then we're getting the active sheet. Then I'm getting the value for the ID. This is just to go into the URL here. And I'm trimming that value just to get rid of any quotes or white space or something like that. Then this is all fairly basic here. We're getting a max results. We're just setting that equals to 100 because there'll be a maximum 100 comments on a page. And we need to get the page token after we make that request and keep running until we pull all the comments. So I've got a, a next page total token equals blank. And then I have a comment list here. First thing I'm going to do is just going to clear row four down, just clear the content here. That means when I'm running a new script, it'll maintain this part here so I can run so this doesn't go away, but it clears the heading and the comments down here. So when I run a new video, they'll be cleared out. And then what this is doing, so it's a do while loop. We're constructing a URL where the video ID, the max results, which is 100 above the API key and the next page token goes in. And what this is doing is that 
while there's a next page token and all that is is that while there's more comments to take we are pulling that url request and what this is doing for each comment is that it's pulling the text display it's coming pulling the author dot display name and it's pulling the uh, published at and then this has been pushed to this comment list so we're building up this comment list with all the comments and we're doing that while the next well there's a next page token so that pulls them all and then that'll insert the comments to the sheet using a helper function here so this is insert comments to sheet and we have spreadsheet.get active spreadsheet again we're putting in a header range so that's five that's row five one one three and then we're setting the values of author comment publish that bold and the formatting in here and all that's doing it's creating this line here and then we are pushing the rest of the comments to here so it's the four the sheet range six on two comments dot length set values equals comments the next thing we need to do is we first need to auth ourselves right and this is just to be able to activate gemini uh, within our project because we have to auth ourselves within the google cloud and we're using this auth function this is another help function we're using that within the format report function out of the two functions this one's for the first page and then the format report is for the second page i've gone through this in another video i'm going to put that up above we're not changing any anything here what we're doing is we're just pulling the values and then we're providing that with a prompt so i've given it a prompt here i will provide you with youtube comments assess the sentiment of five sections overall sentiment of the video with negative neutral proportions stated along with a hundred word summary positive sentiment summarize positive sentiment and provide the tweets and then following the same pattern for negative and neutral suggestions for video improvements and then i'm just putting a bit of mitigation in here do not include the video title do not include separate se sections for reference tweets only refer to the data provided and only include text in title fonts and then i'm sending that aggregated data which is just the the full comment data which we pulled before so for this, we're using uh, just again a URL, the Gemini 1.5 Pro. And then this code down below is just to format that because that comes out in Markdown and I'm just trying to deal with that. But as I said, the explanation for all this code is on the video that I'm going to link up above. So that's it. You know, two functions. If you just want to pull the YouTube comments and analyze for sentiment yourself, it's free. It's good to go. If you want to take it a step further and have Gemini analyze it for you or another large language model, the code is there for that as well. Hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.